What is going on, my fellow Sakus? Marcus. I'm about to say Marcus Spider. Marcus G1 to the back of the video. What is going on, guys? Excuse me, I just burped. My bad, though. Your boy's back with the video, guys. We are back. Uh, it's been a minute since we get to some death battle stuff. And again, you like, listen, I, your boy had no intentions of uploading today, okay? Listen. <laughs> your boy had no intentions of uploading today. But, but. I was gonna wait. I, I was gonna wait until some more stuff pop, like popped up. Like we got us. So you won't, one punch man episode came out today. I definitely do want to react to that today because I know it's gonna be a busy week for me. So I want to get that out of the way for you guys. So I want to react to this. I would like to react to the Market Game Season Four trailer, and I would like to react to One Punch Man. So we got three videos to get done for today. Three videos. We have three videos to watch. Three. Nine games. Let me stop. Nah, but nah, we don't nine. I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. But Yeah. Um, yeah, so three videos to get done for today. I would like to get them all done today. If not, then it'll just be like that sometimes, you know? So how you guys been though? I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded some some videos. I know it's been a little bit, but I'm try to I'm trying to I'm gonna get back into the trying to get back. I'm gonna get back into my yeah, me ski. Whoa. <laughs> but um anywho, you guys uh let me know. So today we got something interesting. Vurisu, which is Mirusuru from RWBY and Perna Persona. This is gonna be interesting because I love RWBY, it's one of my favorite it's actually not, not one of my favorite enemies, but I definitely do enjoy it. Uh, I know it was a light novel first before it became an anime. Persona, we all know what Persona is. Persona is one of the most greatest gaming franchises of all time. It's like, no, because now all, now all the games were good, you know. The only Persona, Persona games I really enjoyed was Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5, of course. I mean, everybody loves Persona 5. I love Persona 5. And, um, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Go, go. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, man, let's see what we got going on here. I'm, I'm not trying to waste too much of you guys' time. I want to get down, want to get down with the get down, see what we got, and uh, yeah, let's start this video, shall we? I come up with some music. Looks like Death Battle got their own intro now, huh? I don't remember seeing this. But it's been a minute since I last seen uh, Death Battle, though. So it has been a minute. Since I, well, since before, not that man. Well, it's been a minute since I last reacted to a Death Battle episode. I think the last one we reacted to was uh, Captain Marvel vs. Uh, Shazam. They're as cold as ice. They're willing to sacrifice. Today, we're pitting together two queens of ice born into powerful, if troubled, families. Yeah. Wait, Snee, heiress to the Snee Dust Company and member of the Huntress Team Ruby. And Mitsuru Kirito, heiress to the Kirito Group and member of the Persona-wielding Seas. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, before, armor, bro. and skills to find out who would win a why. death battle. The world of Remnant is known for many things. The vicious creatures called Grimm, the hunters and huntresses committed to fighting them, and the Schnee family. Yeah, yep. they're kind of like royalty, and their princess is Weiss Schnee. As the heiress to the family company, she grew up in a pretty cold home. Pun intended. Member of the Team Ruby. Family expected a lot I always from thought of the art of It was Wild considered Wild Wild. essential like that she live up to their highly influential name. Too bad for them, she had her own plans. Rejecting her father's wishes to remain at home, her was left to attend Beacon Academy Ruby, though, and train so not, to become so my, a hunter. Some things might kind of go over Literally my putting head. the W in minute. Team Ruby. Within just a year, Weiss established her uh, own name for herself, saving the kingdom on more than one occasion, and yeah, doing so true. with her trusty blade, Mirtonaster. And that's McHugh. Merc Nasty here is a multi-action rapier <laughs> with a three-foot-long blade. But guess what? It's also a gun. Ice fire, Instead wind, of hard light, lightning, gravity. It's that's got crazy. a six-slot revolver-style chamber that Weiss fills with bullets colored like the rainbow. Well, they're not oh, exactly yeah. that's bullets. A fact. They are vials of dust, which she can fire to enhance her weapon and skills. Ironically, the Schnee Dust Company is by far one of the largest producers and exporters of dust. Wait, wait, wait. They sell dust? I got a ton of that shit covering the bookshelf in my trailer. I can Bruh, sell it if what? I have enough money to buy. <laughs> a second bookshelf! Dust farm, here I come! No, Who not that kind dust of form, dust. Bro. In what, the world bro? of Remnant, dust is an energy source, often used to fuel vehicles, androids, and weapons. 
Wait, you have books? When did I say anything about books? Well, long story short, there are four main types of dust. Air, lightning, fire, and water. And Weiss likes to mix water and air together for her favorite, ice dust. And that is why they call you the Ice Queen. She can also attack yeah. with fire, launch a windstorm, block attacks with barriers, and many, many other techniques. Needless to say, Mirtanaster is a surprisingly Mirtan versatile she weapon. She definitely has she like a really like, like, uh, to boost her I, 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 which is what I remember. Her moveset is superpower. definitely something not to do, uh, not to sleep on about. A lot of people she can kind of sleep on her attacks and only give her much credit, but from what I remember, though, oh my goodness, her abilities and specials are just something out of this world, man. Also, by infusing glyphs with dust, she can no. manipulate their effects. For example, a touch of lightning dust lets her dilate time, dramatically increasing Wait, her speed. Wait, is Yeah, control better, time. She can use yeah, the time, glyphs to summon dilution. monsters to aid her in battle. It's the Beastmaster style. Like this so crazy boar, cool. a giant killer I, I don't know too much about this, uh... Which literally translates about, to um, giant armor in Latin, so... Fitting. Damn, just imagine how great her family could be if they all didn't hate each other. Unlimited dust, giant bodyguards you can summon any time. Yeah, I don't know too much about the other character, though. I don't know she, I don't know Unfortunately, the Shnee family does suffer from some rocky relationships, with the exception of Weiss and her older sister. I don't know too much about the character, my fault. I don't know too much about the character, my fault. I don't know too much about the character, but I'm really with her because... I guess there's a certain resemblance. Because I've seen Ruby, and I've seen a good majority of the series. Or the season of the series, I mean. What? You don't carry pocket chicken? So, back on topic, Weiss has a very powerful and versatile ability, and like most semblances, it's powered by her aura. Which is like an invisible shield around her body. She's basically unkillable while it's up. Though the aura itself isn't indestructible, it can be depleted after taking a lot of damage and needs time to restore itself. Ah, so it, take, she so after after taking a lot of damage, it takes a little bit uh, But that aura is pretty freaking time. tough. It was just enough to take a full-on hit from a geyser of Dang, lava. Chris, lava crazy. can reach temperatures up to 1,200 degrees Celsius, enough to melt iron. Jeez. And during a full Sorry, fight of all things, she was thrown into a pillar here. so hard it was obliterated. Hey Wiz, I've been in a few food fights in my time, and that shit gets intense. And that one's tame by comparison. But yeah. greatest of all, with a combination of ice and her aura, Crazy. she survived riding atop a speeding train crashing through concrete. By measuring the diameter of the resulting hole and applying the values of fragmentation, this means Weiss survived an impact equal to over seven tons of TNT. But it's not just Weiss that's tough. Her glyphs are strong enough to catapult the Armagigas. And with her ice powers, she's knocked around a giant mech built for fighting Godzilla-sized Grimm. Compared to the height of her teammate nearby, it appears she created over 2,000 metric tons of ice. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely using the ocean as a base to exert fusion energy and vaporization energy on the nitrogen in the air, thereby freezing it like so. At most, this would require over 900 billion joules of energy, equivalent well, that's a to lot of energy around too. 230 smoke, tons of TNT. Wow! No yeah, wonder she can push that big old robot around! Plus, Weiss can also move super quick, dodging missiles and even hitting bullets out of the air! And with time dilation, she can stay nearly untouchable while taking out her opponents in the blink of an eye. Like that old saying, float like an inner tube on a lazy river and sting like your pee in the morning. Please go to a doctor. <laughs> Throughout her journey, right, Weiss has right. overcome all sorts of dangers. But her most difficult task may have been the moment her father cut her out of the family, leaving yeah, her financially yeah, broke yeah. and dismissed from her birthright. Ah, boo-hoo, no more allowance. Still, she's powered through and made a name for herself as a huntress. With the Ruby team at her back, I think she's found the family she truly belongs to. I'm more than a name. In the early 2000s, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Japan who didn't know of the Kirito Group, a global conglomerate involved in nearly every aspect uh -oh, of daily life. Kirito and the heiress to this impressive company was a young girl named Mitsuru Kirito. But unknown to Mitsuru. her, the family company was into some pretty sketchy stuff. Mitsuru. Her grandpa started experimenting with some sort of mental world called the Mind Place. Or more officially, the collective unconscious. Like I said, I'm a realm not connected familiar. to every living being's subconscious mind. And within the collective unconscious dwells shadows. 
fragments human psyche, which often appear as malevolent monsters. They're basically demons. Kind of. However, there's another sort more directly integrated with the minds of individual people, effectively humming their shadow selves. So some of them are demons who want to kill you, and some of them are demons who are part of your brain? Eh, close enough. Well, Gramps tried to get the shadows for himself, but as anyone who's tried to summon demons will tell you, don't, don't do that. Trust me, it never works out. And when it does, it doesn't. Chaos Incarnate erupted. The resulting explosion from his experiment released the shadows into reality to prey on an unsuspecting populace and unveiled the Tartarus, a citadel between worlds. The Earth was drastically changed with a new dark hour, an extra hour of time occurring at midnight. Most folks didn't notice, though. The world basically freezes in time during the dark hour, including people. So nobody's got to pick up a new 25-hour clock, because when the hour runs up, everything continues like nothing happened. It's like getting an extra hour of secret sleep. But some yeah, people seriously? are able to operate during this hour, including Mitsuru, which she decided to take full advantage of. Yeah, she felt pretty guilty about her family basically ruining everything and sending hundreds of murder monsters into the world. So she Bruh. swore to fix her grandpappy's mess. And while she's certainly skilled with a rapier thanks to her time in fencing club, a single sword would never be enough to combat the hordes of shadows. Luckily, her first experience with the Dark Hour helped her out in this regard. That's one way to put it. She and her dad were almost murdered by spooky shadows. But this event also led to an awakening. With the threat of death itself mere seconds away, Mitsuru dug deep within and found a new weapon, her shadow self. And that's how she became a person user. Persona user. Yeah, persona. Yeah, I was about to say, say you're a persona user. Thanks to this user. fateful night, Mitsuru can summon a manifestation of her personality known yeah. as a persona. I mean, this yeah. was Penthesilia, who would eventually Pen evolve into yeah, a I guess I, I don't form. know. This, like I said, I don't know what Party is the which best persona this one is, man. You could ask for. She's got all sorts of powerful ice spells. She can heal Mitsuru's wounds. She can drain someone's energy and add it to Mitsuru's own. I don't and know. She can blow that's people good up stat with line, but... Uh, I don't know, would that be enough? That ignores special defenses That's the question, anyway. Man. And to top it all off, she's got a kinky ice whip. While Artemisia cannot really be killed, she does have her limits. Yeah. When a persona is overtaxed or takes too much damage, it becomes broken and unusable for a short time. And since Artemisia... At Domino's, delivery is kind of My our boy. thing. We even made a car for it. So when you get pizza and stuff... Part of Mitsuru's mind, when the persona gets hurt, so does she. But this connection wow, so also grants her Mitsuru too, her huh? own set of it's special powers. How that works in the, She's physically superior like, to most others. She can also, also sense well. the locations of people and layouts of buildings to analytical and effect, clairvoyance. Effect, actual, She's also immune to music. ice and the cold, so I'm not really sure why she needs a giant fur coat. Everyone needs a good fur coat, Wiz. Come on! Uh, I guess. It is a pretty nice coat. Anyway, Mitsuru wasn't going into battle alone. She gathered a team of Persona users to form the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, or SEEDS, which is much easier to say. The team set out to explore Tartarus, combat the shadows, and put an end to the Dark Hour, while also scoring some extra credit because it was technically an after-school club. How about Japanese that? schools are way more hardcore than ours. And with a team at her back, Mitsuru needed a tool to reliably summon Personas with. And so came the Evoker, which might be a little disturbing to some people, so fair warning. Yeah, it looks just like a gun, and that's kind of the point. The idea is to use the gun to create an extremely traumatic experience similar to how Mitsuru first evoked her own Persona. Specifically, this is accomplished by aiming the thing at your face and pulling the trigger. Oh, yeah, that's definitely snap. not how guns are supposed to work. Questionable right. concepts aside, Mitsuru <laughs> and her Persona are an absolute terror on the battlefield. Oh, God! Did, did she just cut off that thing's dick? Yes, she did, <laughs> Boomstick. And it was a goddamn cannon. Oh, the yo, that's, yo, so Boomstick is, is hilarious, bro. is quick bro. enough to dodge gunfire. Heck, another Persona user is even fast enough to outrun a bullet fired by a Magnum. Those usually have a muzzle velocity of over 360 meters per second. And Personas can move even faster. Naotos could react to and catch an arrow in milliseconds. Oh, and Mitsuru has defeated her in battle. Than the speed but of hey, by the time Mitsuru and her whole team survived an explosion that totally wrecked this whole bridge. Now, uh, in my humble opinion, using my very own handcrafted munitions measurement chart, I'd say this blast falls somewhere in the range of oh shit we're dead interesting but let's use some real science now 
This is real science. I tested explosions and their real effects on real people, just like you would. I'm a real scientist now. But that's yeah, it's more like wait, that. Real people? Boomstick? Where are the interns? Uh, I, hey, look, I got you that coat that you wanted. Ooh, thank you. Oh, it's so soft. So are the interns. Hey, Yo. Uh, one more math thing you gotta do. By working Dang, with so another you're gonna you, user, you can cheat yourself, right? Will help freeze up this giant something. creepy puppet monster. Yeah, well, some, again, taking some nitrogen stuff into right account there, as it comprises 70% of air's makeup, we can apply its required fusion energy and vaporization energy to find this feat would need an energy output equal to 60 kilotons of TNT. Though this can't all be attributed to Mitsuru as she did have help. That's still a hell of a lot of ice. Mitsuru oh, and yeah, Artemisia yeah. sure make a powerful pair. And even after successfully ending the Dark Hour and redeeming her family name, Mitsuru continued battling for people everywhere, one shadow at a time. Dang. This appears to be just the beginning. She didn't care, bro. All right, the combatants are Sometimes set to run the data through all possibilities. But first, I'm all out of pocket chicken, so let's get something better with Blue Apron. Oh my God. By you now, you've Blue probably Apron. heard of Blue Apron, the leading Blue meal Apron. kit delivery service in the U.S. Choose your meals each week, get the ingredients delivered to your doorstep, and whip up a meal using the easy-to-follow directions provided. With an ever-changing mix of meat, fish, and vegetarian recipes to choose from, you're all set for a tasty summer. Who has time to think of meal plans and go get the ingredients yourself anyways? Not me! This way, I cut out all the boring stuff and get right to the awesome parts. It's been a huge help to both my schedule and my eating habits. There's plenty of wholesome and healthy choices to pick from. And if you're not very experienced in the kitchen, this is a great way to learn some new recipes. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. To start making delicious, brag-worthy meals at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Here we go, boys. Showtime. Oh, Dip game. Shot Such good form. You fight with a sense of ease. Thank you. Who y'all got, man? Who y'all got? I don't know, man. I guess it's... I want to say, uh, uh, because like I've seen, I've seen the anime. I don't like I said. I mean, uh, Misuru, her, 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 uh, she got some attacks on her. Ironic. And a waste but that slowing time. down time thing is definitely gonna come in clutch. But I'm curious how much damage. Man, she is with the game. Woo! Ooh, she got her. I'm curious how much damage she can do. Like I said, yeah, depending on how much damage that person is going to be taking, there's only so much she can do. And remember, she'll be down for like a short amount of, she a short amount of time. So it gives her, and they both have that feet. They both have that feet. If they both get damaged, they'll both be down for a short amount of time. So it's only, I can only imagine, honestly. And remember, if she gets hit, if the persona gets hit badly, so does the uh, persona use it. That's how that works in all persona games. So I don't know. Um, Medusa has a chance. Depending on how much damage she can do. Let's see. Oh, she's summoning now. She's bringing out the summons. Oh, the Night King. Okay. Uh, let's see how much damage she makes you do. Oh, so they're gonna have to get each other. Oh. I don't know, man. Oh. As annoying as this was, I have to admit, you fought valiantly. Oh, I'm losing my now, win. You fall by my own hand. I can do this on my own. I don't know, bro. Hold up. Slow down. 
She's losing all the time. She's losing all the time. I saw, I saw that coming. I knew it. Like I said before. Hey, you got, you got, you got him. Uh, how, uh, how strong are you? Oh. Good game. Mookie, yeah, I saw that coming because... Hey, she tried it. She tried to slow down the time. Well, Wiz, I'm glad we got these coats because that was cool. Weiss was incredibly skilled. Her versatility certainly proved a challenge for Mitsuru. And she held a decent... Hey, Weiss advantage. tried, though, because to time she... dilation. That to slowing down fair, time attack did not work, bro. Yeah. I thought that was going to be game changing once Weiss started pulling that up. Weiss pulled that out. But Mitsu, she said, nah, fam. My joint ain't going to work, dude. So Artemisia me. must be capable of similar speeds. Yeah, but slowing down time seems like an instant win move, doesn't it? Yeah, in right. In some ways, yes, but we look for who can win the most matches overall. Not just a couple times out of a thousand possibilities thanks to one good move. Yeah, True. even though now, had now, I mean, of attack options, Mitsuru's defenses were just too strong. That is true. Her defense was A1. Her defense was definitely A1. And on top of that, you're going to some, like, you see, you see, you see it's like anime and stuff. Now, oh, now, the whole slowing, time, slowing down time technique is just not going to work, bro. Like, you saw, like, who, like, in Dragon Ball Super, for example, remember when Jaren would try that again? Remember when, uh, Hit would try that against Jaren? That John damn work. There's only so much, like, slowing down time, bro. There's only so much that. That move can do, and I thought, like, it's just not gonna be able to work. It just doesn't work all the time. TNT, definitely higher than Weiss's seven ton train feet. Frankly, Mitsuru's survivability and power output outclassed Weiss. Even if we cut her major ice feet in half since she was aided by Yukari, Mitsuru still output 130 times more energy than Weiss when she attacked that mech. But numbers aren't everything, right? Sure, there's always a new way to look at things. For instance, Weiss's arsenal was limited by her aura and dust supply, while Mitsuru had no such constraint on her own powers. It takes a long time to restore aura, and remember, when a persona gets broken, it can just come back a few seconds later. That's Which true. Okay, I'm like a short amount of time. You said that in the video. Mitsuru at any time, Weiss didn't see the chance, man. Weiss had made. Oh man, what an ice cold move! While Weiss's speed and versatility put up a good fight, Mitsuru's greater defense, raw power, and more reliable arsenal proved too much for the Huntress. She had no chance. The winner is Mitsuru Kirito. Hey, I am mad. Hey, thanks for watching Death Battle. Don't go away just yet. We're about to announce the next fight. And if oh, you haven't shit. seen the latest episode of our podcast, The Death Battle Cast, you can click it right there. I saw Johnny King, so this. Captain Falcon. Oh. Dang. Okay. Captain F Falcon versus Johnny Cage. That's going to be a sturdy jump. But anyway, my fellow talkers, that was a great uh, death battle. I really definitely did enjoy it. Good back again, back in the swing of things. So we got Johnny Cage versus Captain Falcon. I'm curious how that's going to turn out because Captain Falcon is actually a pretty OP Smash character. So. Depending on, I wonder what, which Captain Falcon version they're going to use. That's going to be pretty interesting. I also want to know what Johnny Cage, what version of Johnny Cage are they using too. Prime Johnny, Johnny Cage or out of Prime Johnny Cage, like where MK11 is pretty much at. Prime Johnny Cage, I'll say it was like maybe around like an MK3, MK4. Out of Prime Johnny Cage is like right where MK11 is. So I'm curious. And also, what version of Captain Falcon are they using as well? So that's also crossing my mind. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed enjoy this video, video let drop a like, comment, subscribe if you are new to the channel. I try to upload videos every single day. But once things get back on schedule, I will be trying to upload every single day. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is Marcus G1. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay, stay, stay fresh with Marcus G1. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.